Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen, I have told you the rules for finding x in case any linear congruence equation is given. The general equation we have discussed is ax is congruent to b mode n. In case any such equation is given and we have to find this value of x, we have to find this value of x. We have seen the steps that how we can find this value of x. Okay, so these are the steps. In this video, we are not going to repeat the steps again because I have already explained it in the previous video. Uh, in case you have not visited that video yet, I will give the link in the description section. You can see that once and then come here. In this video, basically we are going to solve an example that how with the help of these steps we can found the, find this value of x from the given linear congruence formula. Okay. So let's see a simple example first. We will see, I will tell you two or three different type of examples so that you will get the idea of all kind of examples, how it is asked and how we, you can solve. First of all, let's see this simple formula, uh, simple equation, simple example that is given 10x is congruent to 2 mode n. This is 5. Uh, 10x is congruent to 2 mode 5 is given. Now what we have seen that the general format is ax is congruent to b mode n right. Let me write here ax is congruent to b mode n. This is the general format of our linear congruence formula. If we compare this formula with our given equation what we will get is a equal to 10. First of all, write the values that you are getting, okay. So, we will get a equal to 10, b equal to 2 and n equal to 5, right. So, we will get these three values from the given question. Now, after getting these, we can uh, start solving it. Now, to solve it, this is the first example. So, let me tell you step by step. What our first step was? Finding GCD of a comma n and whatever answer we are getting, we are naming it as d. So, find GCD of a comma n. We have to find, first step is, we have to find GCD of a comma n. So, in this case, we will get GCD of a is 10 and n is in our case 5. So, we have to find GCD of 10 comma 5. Now, there are various uh, ways to find out the GCD. Uh, the first way is, if the numbers are small like this 10, 5, you can simply uh, determine that what will be the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. Like in case of 10 and 5, we can directly say that it is 5. But if you are not able to find it directly, don't worry. We are having different formulas to find out GCD. Like we have also, I have already discussed in my videos. We have seen the video of finding out GCD with the help of Euclidean method, with the help of extended Euclidean methods. Okay. So, uh, you can use the method whatever you are comfortable with. For finding GCD. So, in this case, this is a small example uh, as I have discussed with you that whenever we are having small example, Euclidean method will do. Okay. We do not have to go for uh, tabular extended Euclidean method. So, in this case, let us solve with the help of Euclidean method. GCD of 10, 5 is equal to GCD of this 5 will come here and here a remainder will come. Remainder of 10 divided by 5. 10 divi divided by 5 means remainder will be 0 because 5, to, uh, 5 into 2 equal to 10. Uh, it is 0. In case you are not comfortable with finding GCD with the help of Euclidean or extended Euclidean, you can uh, refer those videos I have already put it. Okay. So, GCD of 5 comma 0. Whenever we are getting this B portion, second portion as 0, you can say that this portion is our answer of GCD. So, in this case, we are getting GCD equal to 5. So, what we have seen in the first step that whatever GCD we are finding, we will name it as D. So, we got that our D's value is 5. We got the value of D as 5. Now, if I show you the second step, the second step is so, uh, second step is finding B by D if this is possible, possible means we are getting a whole number, then we can say that solution exists. Otherwise, if b by d is not a complete number, we are not getting any exact answer, we can say that solution does not exist and we will not solve further. Okay, so let's check b by d in our case. So, in second step, if I check b by d, b by d, I will get b I am having 2. So, 2 by 2 divided by d, d means 5. So, 2 is not completely divided by uh, 5. So, we will not get any exact answer. So, in this step only, I can say that solution 
does not exist solution means what the value of this x whatever we have to find the value of this x or solution does not exist and if the solution does not exist you have to stop here we will not do further okay this is very simple now let us see another one example where the solution will exist and so i can show you all the steps that how to find out the solution okay thank you so much